me to have our morning conversation now today is going to be quite touchy mm. here leo yeah. this one's going to be a bit touchy okay. because there's something going on Wait. that has only recently emerged on social media but what it is is just crazy There is a group of girls, and they are not few, there are many, who are going around purposely infecting men with HIV. I'm sure you've seen the confessions on social media. Listen to one of these ladies here saying, I joined Machakos University in 2022. I've slept with about 16 different comrades without protection. I tested my status three months after I joined and discovered I'm positive. And I took revenge and I'm still doing it. Here's another one. I just want to feel sorry for Machakos University comrades. Because where I know like five hot girls who are spreading this HIV thing around. Um, one is lesbian, others are straight. So please comrades Punguza. There's another lady here. And I'm just seeing all these messages. They're just, they're crazy. Umesome you are waka. Umesome you are waka. Sioni apa. There's another one here saying, I go around infecting older men, especially those ones who go after young girls. I need to teach them a lesson. My name is Hilda. I've infected more than four big CEOs with this thing with my friends. It is something we do every weekend. This man must be taught a lesson. What is this? No, what is going on? And guys, are you aware? Are you aware? What was my drive race in Caribbean? I tell you, Kusma Mako, Ninuman Angelesho. Seriously? So they do it purposely. Yes, purposely. They do it on purpose. And they are very beautiful. Very beautiful girls. Nasi wata tumaliza. Cleofas Kangeda, you're saying, Uliona ya juja, nathika, maina you'll be shocked. Ebu send me those ones kwa inbox, Cleofas. So they write to this girl called Kemunto. Kemunto. Yes. When I'm confessed. Yes. Now I hide my identity. Yes. Huh? And they are very pretty girls. Huh? Ebu uh atume -huh. tume. Wee, 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 wee. So what is going on here? If you're one of these girls, I want to hear from you. So, Give me a call. So they target. If you're one of these gentlemen who go for these exceedingly beautiful girls, are you aware of what's going on? No, you need to ask these girls why are they, why, why are they doing it? Hey. Most of them are saying they want to teach married men a lesson. Hey. Hey. So as happened, you let me tell you mine. If you're one of these girls, I want you to call me. If you're one of these gentlemen who's been infected by these girls, I want, to, I want you to call me as well. Because this is a conversation we must have. Because this is new age terrorism. Exactly. Hey. Hi. 0711-046105 is my number. Give me a call, Tafadali. Hit me up on X, our classic 105 Kenya, or at It's My Neck again. Don't forget the hashtag is Mina and Kingangi. Ni, ni, ni. By the time you target a CEO, one, two, three, four. Eh? We want you to on our agenda. These girls are not older than 22. Eh? They are young girls, 19 to 22. Hey. Hi. Hi.
a uh, classic 105 kenya or at it's my neck again hashtag is my name king and you give me a call on 0711 this is a conversation we must have hello morning minor yes you came in from nairobi yeah so they have an experience what happened i was infected uh, with a uh, hpv you're in you're infected i was infected by with a uh, hpv virus uh-huh by who he didn't really wanna did uh-huh he never told me by then i was 25 she was 18. yeah she was 18. <laughs> let me tell you i spent a lot before your your disease any talk i used to pay I, I used to spend 500 after three days and where is she now akotika now after nime muambia like you should go to the hospital because when in fact i don't care yeah she doesn't care let me tell you minor things that day you are 25 she was 18. she was 18. alikwana somia mku Rika. and obviously she's still going around with other men let me tell you mine that ka cream used to ako ka cream nili nili prescription liquid na toka 500 and uh i used to i used to i used to use it like three days narodi chemist another 500 until your kid will disappear but since then nili di chuna mask it's happening amazing okay thanks for sharing your story yeah thank you so much asante you okay, need to have our morning conversation yesterday we were talking about these girls who and apparently even men who go around infecting others and it's so widespread it's ridiculous heard from a guy who got infected by a yanni yesterday was just a horror story there are two groups i want to address this morning this younger generation and let me first start with you the amount of unprotected sex going on is ridiculous it's crazy who's talking about aids anymore there are no ads, even the Ministry of Health. Unless it's the NGOs who go on ground, there is no mass messaging about HIV AIDS. There is none. Who's talking about it? Yosefu Deki yesterday, you sent me a message the next saying, Wanasema afadhali wapate ukimu within cancer. Since when is this something that you don't care about? Mm. And then, guys, you go and pick up a chick. You don't know her from a hole in the wall. And you go unprotected. What's that all about? What is that all about? Let's put it this way. Kuna hii generation, sirika walishtuliwa, you know, kulikuwa wakati walikuwa na campaign ya help crush AIDS Kenya. They have billboards all over. Yes. Mpaka zimeandikuwa na mother tongue. Mokigo, ukienda kupika nyeri unayona. Kena machakos unayona. Eh, na it was like a stigma. Eh? We, 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 we. Uki semekana ni kama unakona. <laughs> unakona beledu. <laughs> ah, unayenda wewe. <laughs> <laughs> where where unaenda it was so bad eh? <laughs> that's true eh eh hilo usimeskara umekanyaga waya nowadays is ni kama is ni kai lisha afadhali hata they are afraid of uh, pregnancy. pregnancy then aids yeah. that's a crazy thing what my dry friend you tukona wewe wengi sana hapa kibikangi i want you to tell me where is it you can see someone without knowing who they are don't even know their second name hmm? and you proceed to have unprotected sex i, I do not get that hmm. 
na tunamwangalevi uso hivi we ni natural doctor Una, kama ana tu pimples ako sawa eh? eventually nairobi that was my time there is another group i'd like to address and that's married women eh? cuz it's time for you to start having protect excess in your house all right when are we sasa no i'm just what do you mean uh-huh. yeah. what do you mean we uh-huh. no. <laughs> your agenda no. where where it's time for you as a married woman to protect yourself cuz he's not when he goes out there hey where 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 eh, that's a new one it's time for married women hey to tell your men your husbands to wrap it up before they smack it up eh ai 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 na we hapo umeenda aye because they are not wrapping it up when they go outside do you understand where i'm coming from au mevuka i need you to give me a call and don't you worry when he comes home and you know this bugger Let's be honest and let's have an honest conversation. 0711046105 is my number. Let's hook up on X cuz talking is a, always a good thing. At classic 105 Kenya or at it's my neck again. Please don't forget the hashtag it's my neck king again. Why is it it's not an issue anymore? And these chicks are everywhere. And my god they look good. Oh girls of today know how to wake jiweka they know they work out they are young they in every club so let's have a discussion an honest conversation ministry of health i hope you're listening Why was health devolved <laughs> these some questions i've got this morning are just ridiculous but give me a call on 0711 0461052 tafadhali hit me up on x two groups young people fearing pregnancy more than they fear aids two married women it's time to review the rules of engagement got to wrap it up before you smack it up others ain't no smacking going on up in here gonna have a may day then Oh seven one one zero four six one zero five. Let's talk. Hello. Good morning, Tusa. Uh-huh. What is the boy? Niko po. What's the matter? 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 What's So let me ask you. Yes. Do you have protected sex? I've tried but it can't work for me because yenye unaweza tumia mara ya kwanza. Eh. So yeah na sasa unajuaje huyo mtu uko naye ako safe Unajua maana hiyo kitu eh Unaangalia mtoto kama ameweza unajaribu tu kuangalia mtoto yako mtoto amebeba bwana kitu ukimwa ikaliki hapo alafu So unamwangalia unasema hapa ukimu yaizi yaizi ka hapa. Hata akai ukimu kwanza sasa kufa kondom kwanza ni kuwe. So so you don't even go for a test. Maina kwenda kesi ni kama kwenda kutafuta kama uko nayo. Okay let me nikuulize swali. Eh wewe umejua wewe umejua tu vizuri eh umeponea chupu chupu mara kadhaa eh ta ukienda test unaenda ku inspect kitu niko nayo sio ngoje tu jipime ukisikia kakicho unaweza pana do so, lakini eh 
ukienda hizo unprotected sex wezi hila na watu wengi sana sema tu vinyo unasema mwana mkiyo kona ayo mjui lakini ama ina kondo mwana na chila saa so let me tunangalia kwa tunangalia tu kwa macho tunangalia mtu mtu wako sawa basi so let me ask you mm. ask me when was the last time you were tested hai um ilikuwa ilikuwa 2024 yes ilikuwa 2022 mwezo nane na ulikuwa sawa ayo nilikuwa sawa na hiyo nilikuwa forced na mtu nilikuwa nimekufia na crash tunge ya nisikuma nikanda huko hata siku na jiamini usikini ni celebrate kujipata niko sawa sijarudia huko tena <laughs> Nipiga shere mtu hakustaki na kujaribu hata kichwa kinyuma na unatuni hiyo. Sasa unaona? Eh. Unaweza kuwa na mtu mwenye wewe ujui venye yako. Eh. Lakini kulingana na anajipresent kwako. Eh. Ah unaona hapa kuna ukimwi maina. Hiyo kuvaa kondo unatubia. Sasa nikuulize maina. Demo anakuja kutembelea usimwoje. Utaka kwamba mwiki mzima. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Baba hiyo nyumba yake itakuwa dust video kondo moja itakuwa ni nini? Yoji. Police hizo balimu. Ah wewe wacha kujeka ni jibu. Eh. Alafu eh. Dunia ya kwanza ni ngumu kwa sababu ungeenda kama round kama nne kondo mivaliki hiyo kitu sasa inataka tu kuwe hivyo hivyo usikize hivyo utakofono paka siku gani. Una mtanganya ya kwanza unamwambia kondo mjio hiyo anakubali ukisha sikisha ya pili unaweza imeisha. Itabidi hakubali atakatana ni usiku na zimeisha. Utaenda wapi usiku? Haya. Asante. I, is this 2024 I am in ama I am back in 1969? Watu nakaskizia tu. Sikizia tu kiwa hapo. Ajoni akipuliza hizo balu zote. Eh? Oh my god. Sikizia tu nakaskizia. Eh? What the hell? Eh. <laughs> No, hold on. What the hell? Eh. <laughs> Shut up. Kaskizia tu kaskizia. I'm just oh imagining him. God. Eh? I'm just seeing him there ka kiskia. <laughs> Kiziaring. Skiriazing what? Eh? Guy. Eh. Okay, you've heard that. Oh, hey, what, what say you need to have our morning conversation yesterday someone told me the most unbelievable thing then ladies come here because we need to discuss this uba drivers muko wapi ibu karibieni hapa tafadhali so apparently and especially on weekends fridays and saturdays Ladies don't pay nikiwe nawe. Kelele ni ya nini? Ladies don't pay for their Uber rides in cash. Hey. Rabu no acha ne karibia. Fridays and Saturdays. Ladies don't pay for their Uber rides in cash. Come and see. We uba people we come here you know when you say uba people eh. uba unamaanisha bolt zote little cab eh, all yego nyote nyi nyote mufarasi how how what do you mean and is this some sort of arrangement you're into ha <laughs> <laughs> Na This kum... guy knows Fridays and Saturdays, Saturday night, Friday night. Kumbe hawata save pesa hii mwaka. Nafikisha kasichana mirema kana kwambi ama tupande juu. <laughs> That's what I don't get. Uwezi save. <laughs> and how do you start agreeing? Isn't this a biashara ama? Ai watu wa uba mko na shida. Hai ku save hii mwaka itakuwa pressure. Kama hivyo ndio mnalipwa. <laughs> Nikose tu hapa na wewe. Inaenda ya tatu. How is that payment? <laughs> Kabi, zebu come here. Uh, come 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 and tell me what happens. But they need to tell you their stories. And ladies, when you leave the house knowing <laughs> how you how you gonna pay for your ride home? He? Watu ba mekwa kwenye majaribu. 
na ujafikisha target hebu give me a call to 0711046105 how does this happen unapanda gorofa and where you are green where you are green cab drivers we mi nawaelewa a classic 105 kenya o art it's my neck again hashtag is my neck king ni nini he kusev mwaka hii mwaka itakuwa hard kwani uchumi ni mbaya aje hello 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 good morning morning maina yes how are you i'm fine uh, let me tell you maina tell me you see weekends eh. friday saturday sunday sometimes eh watu wao wanakuanga biashara ya kupochi wasichana wa rembo eh if you look in there like you you are like a hot kick eh my friend then picture with you has that ever happened to you yes uh this this weekend eh. me and my friends had gone out hapa hata si mbali hapa tu the art mara eh but kona badla rajia mia mia mbika road the other one is on tawala huo mwingine kwa south east mama the very long journey so tukasema kilomita chuko ubaya yake Eh. So yeah, they are so the dare things you are drunk and stuff no joke to how they disact. Eh. So if you come my place and it's like eh juni usiku sana it is around 3 am 3 4 am. Eh. Usiku sana na kuna ka eh sema zilikuwa zimelost. Eh. So I had trouble finding my keys. Eh. Juna kandi kama wewe unataka kusaidia kufungua gate so tuende nikakufungulia mlango and like oh, it's a thing but it's something people don't talk about because well either way sometimes people treat as uh, ni kama it's a win win jalipa and I've get I've gotten laid freely so why not amazing yo yeah okay shit happens ah, yeah so yesterday this guy calls in Musao very good morning to you and Sam Dunda very good morning to you from EABL and Joel and Joel as well thank you very much Victoria and Ruth Armstrong thank you so much it was nice meeting you yesterday and breaking bread with you this guy called in I've always and we've always said it every morning here on Classic 105 you always tell me girls it's all about the money or it's all about the bed He is someone who's going totally against the grain but you're hounding him literally what am i talking about listen to him i can now my name married eh? and i don't hide my marriage eh? but i have women here chasing me like uh, i'm single <laughs> uh-huh. they, they want me by fire by force <laughs> what, what 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 is it that you have that they want i don't know i don't know my nasia tindi kona pesa hata mimi ni hustler tu I don't have money uh at I don't see at in my friend message there I give them good to what or what but I don't know they still want me by fire by force by fire by force <laughs> <laughs> Okay what could you possibly want to this guy Ladies hana twatwa hana record ya hiyo <laughs> hana pesa hana twatwa na anawaambia is married and his mind does not hide the fact that is ni nini we need to understand this morning ebu tuambieni what is it about this guy listen to him again i can now my name married eh? and i don't hide my marriage eh? but i have women here chasing me like uh, i'm single <laughs> uh-huh. they, they want me by fire by force <laughs> what, <laughs> what 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 is it that you have that they want I don't know. I don't know my nasia tindi kona pesa hata mimi ni hustler tu. I don't have money. Uh at I don't see at in my friend message there I give them good to what or what. But I don't know. They still want me by fire by force. <laughs> by fire by force. Bona <laughs> mutakia nini huyo? What is this? Do you tell me? Let them tell you. Hana pesa. Hana talent yoyote ya watu watu hana <laughs> hana is married possibly akona kakitambi kama mimi wanatutakia nini uh, huyu ana kitambi mm. <laughs> <laughs> wanolemona apana i'm just listen 
I don't know how how to put it to you, but can I tell you an honest truth? Mm. Men with pot bellies mm. are the most unattractive things ever. Ah, <laughs> We are being chased down the hill. A woman sees you with yeah. your belly yeah. and you've got clothes yeah. and when she imagines you naked, she almost dies. Yeah. <laughs> she dies of happiness. I can imagine you about the castle or your tenyake. Mm. No, ladies, what is it about this guy? We need to understand you. We must. I'm now married eh? and I don't hide my marriage there. Eh? But I have women here chasing me like uh, I'm single. <laughs> uh -huh. they, they want me by fire by force. <laughs> Kwani, <laughs> what, what, what is it that you have that they want? I don't know. I don't know. My natia pindi kona pesa, hata mimi ni hustler too. I don't have money. Uh, at the, I don't see at the me spread message there. I give them good to a or what. But I don't know. They still want me by fire by force so abdallah hana hana pesa hana hata yote ni 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 ladies come 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 oh seven one one zero four six one oh five is my number what could you possibly have you when you listen to that description what did you want with him hmm a classic 105 Kenya. Oh, art, it's my neck again. Hashtag is my neck again. Let's talk. Hello. Maina, how are you? Good morning. Maina, mimi niliambiwa. Eh. If you doesn't do that, eh. Itakuroga. If you don't love me, itakuroga. Kwani, what do you have? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Do you have money? Not enough. Do you have a good body? I'm slim, of course. Black. But now I don't know what does she want from okay. She was a friend of mine yeah. <laughs> for a period of time. Yeah. So maybe she wanna do pamaneno. So yeah. maybe Maybe you may bari maybe you may barikiwa na meona. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Okay, by the by, by, for, for the period of the uh, for the period of time that we've been together eh. as a friend, and I've been also sharing my story to her and all those, you know. And so she asked me. In fact, I, by that time to, uh, we were we were traveling to there's a place we were traveling for a party and all. So she asked me when we are now two of them. We, we were two, like uh, we were in the we, we were in the both of you. Like yeah. So she asked me, "Kwan na wewe." Yeah. We to give like what? Um, <laughs> when you have to me, I'm gonna keep you. Like, no. <laughs> so let me ask <laughs> you. That, that, that was my first time. Yeah. You will leave. Like, what is this What is wrong with them? She asked me. Come where? Where? You need to make a in the water. Even you, Ojai, to pass. Ojai, you angela shaki to. I was like, wow. Okay. So let me but, ask you. Yes. And how long has she been your friend? Um, from 2001. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And, yes. and then she was telling you these things when? Uh, was uh, last year, December. Hey, hey. Yeah. So what did you do? I ignored. I told her, no, uh, for now, I let me go and think, okay, let me go think about it and then I let you know. So I like, I tried as much as I can to avoid her and uh, there, like that. She might even sometimes she comes where I work. We talk. She, sometimes she comes with her car. We go. Yeah, like that. But but, but you've story, you, but you've never gone there. I've never even once I to I've never even that thing has never even come into my mind. This is what I'm supposed. This is like no hakuna <laughs> The first Kenyan man who has said no. I'm gonna give you an award. He <laughs> 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 just take my number right now. You want me? You've been all this year. Okay, so <laughs> the first Kenyan man who has said no. <laughs> the first Kenyan man who has said no. Hey! And Young you believe guy. him? Yes. Time for us to get into our morning conversation. Yeah. Mwalimu. 
Yes. Let me ask you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, back in the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sukuzetu, yes. Yeah, back in the Sukuzenu. Mm. Yes. A woman was married to take care of their husband. I remember that. In fact, I think I I, uh, I remember some uh, titbits of Kitambo when my uncles used to. There was one, in fact, who was getting married, mm -hmm. and I remember my grandma used to tell her, tell him, brother, mm -hmm. you know, get a wife to take care of you. Yes. Kuka pekianko is not is no good. Mm -hmm. Get someone to take care of you. That word, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure mzee amekula. Yes. Make sure by the way amelala vizuri ametulia roho ime ime relax. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you find a lot of women yes. get married to be taken care of mm. by men mm. and also for them to take care of themselves. Mm. Yes. 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 Jiko. Yes. 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 I then yeah, like something switched, something changed at some point. Mm. Where now? Where nowadays you just see mm. a lot of ladies saying, I want a rich man mm. who can buy me a house. Yes. Buy me a car. Mm. You know? Mm. Buy me, take me shopping. Yes. Vacation. Mm. My children can go to expensive schools. Mm. Yeah, actually, the question is what happened to taking care of your man? It's a real story, it's a serious story. Yeah. Yes. Wananyimu everything. Everything. Na wezi enda polisi kustaki mutu na wezi sema. And those women were loyal. Yes. Even if ulikuwa hauna kakitu, yeah. munangangana pamoja. Yes. So what happened to taking care of your man in every aspect? Yes. Yes. Mbaka ridike, so that I look forward to kuja nyumbani. I'd like to find out, by the way, ladies, mm. what happened to that generation mm. of women who would take care of their man, mm. no matter how tough life was, no matter even if he could not achieve the things you wanted. Kuna jamali kwa nasema kumbuke the last time bibi yake limpikia chakula. What do you mean? Uh, Inapikagwa na house gang. Yeah. Na hao wana kujaga <laughs> wakienda. Eh? Hata mwingine kasema, hata pare pare. Diti ya iwezekani. Munalala kama brother and sister. Of course. Of course. By the way, that happens a lot. Yeah. A lot. What Mugingi, happened? Mukingia kitandani ya naangalia east wa unangalia west. Na tunalala. It's very bad. We want to find out this morning, ladies. What happened to that generation of women? Taking who, care. Who are taking care of their men. Mm. Because nowadays, a lot of women want the opposite. Mm. To be taken care of. Mm. Yes. Why don't you give me a call on 0711-046-105. You can also find us on our socials. On Twitter, of course, that's X. And on Facebook and, of course, on Instagram. By the way, there's no achievement in denying your man. Party, party. There's no <laughs> achievement. <laughs> Ladies, you should know that. There's no achievement. Me, I can tell you. Eh? Yeah. Na Abdullah na Lia. You cannot... Uh, you, there's no achievement. Ebu, give me a call. Me, I'd love to find out. My number is 0711 What happened to like, taking care of, of your, your man? man? It's all about your morning conversation today. And we are asking something very simple. What happened to the era of women who would take care of their men? Because that's what used to happen back in the day. A woman would get married to take care of her husband. But nowadays... The cards have flipped. Women nowadays are getting married to be taken care of. And ladies, see Vita, I'm just simply asking, what happened? What changed? That you decided, you know what? Because yeah, oh, these guys can in fact go to hell. Don't really care. Talk to me. Uh, my name is uh, Liz. Yes, Liz, talk to me. I'd like to contribute to your today's topic. Go ahead. Okay, now, uh, personally, I'd like to say the thing that happened, the reason why women these days don't take care of their men mm. is because men stop taking care of their women. I, men? Oh, no. I'd give you, I'd, listen, I'd mm. give you an example of my family. Mm. Yes. I am brought up in a polygamous home. Mm. Mm. My dad is married to seven wives and we have 28 siblings. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> how many, how, your dad is married to how many wives? Seven. Seven? Gotcha. Where? Yes. 
Why are you giving him a kayamba? No, no, no. Muka 28 of you. My dad has taken care of all his wives. All of them are stay at home wives. Yes. And all the children have gone to school. Where? Why would such a man be taken care of by his wife? Seven? What do you mean? You have seven? Yes. You seven. Man... I have six step mothers. <laughs> he must have been a very rich man. Yes. Yes, he was. Yes. You... Yes, he is. He's you... an up to date. He is you... a retired architect. Mm-hmm. And he was a former councillor. Your your mother is number two. Wait, 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 so wait, your wait, father wait. made sure he took care of all his wives and all his children. Yes, all of them are well taken care of. The mother is, only my mother was uh, running a, a shop at some point, but she stopped. Yeah. The yeah. rest of them yeah. are all stay at home wives. Yeah. They are all taken care of. Each mm. of them has a shamba to farm on, yeah. and mm. all their children have been taken to school. School is paid mm. until. The least uh, child who has gone to school who, who stopped maybe that from four. So Most of us have gone up to university. I have a question. Yes. Have, are you married? Yes, I am. Would you entertain your husband like a kuletea mungine apo? If he was taking care of me the way my dad took care of his wife, I would. But he is not. I, so I cannot. So when I you say I'm my butt off, I wake up at four a.m. to go to work. Mm-hmm. I have to come back home still make food for him. Mm-hmm. I have to take care of the kids. I have to pay the school fees. Mm-hmm. If he was taking care of me the way my dad is taking care of his wife, mm-hmm. I would do everything for him, and I would allow him to bring in another wife. Right now but you right can now as it is, it's uh, like I'm the head of the family. I so why would I entertain him bringing another wife? So you can't entertain that nonsense. If he was well off. And taking care of me, and he says I'm not able to satisfy him sexually. He would give me a good enough reason, then I would think about it. Where? Hi. Yes. Where? You yes. think about it? Okay. Yes. Okay. But okay. as it is right now, huh? I tell you, the current generation of men are not taking care of their wives as they are supposed to. Because okay. a man is supposed to be a provider and a protector. Mm-hmm. But now, these days, they, they want us to contribute part of their family. Which is okay, I understand the economy is harsh, but you should do the bigger part. Why does it have to be 50 50? Sour, sour. Okay. okay. Thank you All for right. that. Yeah. So you see, Molly, this, this equation is very easy. Just make money. And you can have as many wives as you want. Where you <laughs> pressure? You need pressure. As for that man, <laughs> seven wives and 28 children. Hey, that one, you are an Ongean Kwame's conference this year. You and your chairman. Key not speak. Yeah. <laughs> He's not speaker. Keep calling, eh? 0711-046-105. Uh, we want to find out today what happened to the way of old. How women would get married to take care of their husband. Kuchungamze. Nowadays, women want to get married to be taken care of.